This video explains the aviation history up to 1903. When we think in aviation, we can think it as a mode of transport, and we have other mode of transport before aviation. The first one is by land. The second one is by water. And the third one, an aviation by air. The transportation by land has been used for thousands and millions of years. We start human beings by walking from uh, place to place with the two feet, and it has been the first one. A second stage in land transportation, animals started to be used uh, to transport things and humans from uh, place to place. As a third step, the wheel was invaded 3,000 to 4,000 uh, years before Christ. And it was a big uh, step of innovation in land transportation, which was then used uh, in many different formats. We have to go up to uh, 1818, just uh, over 100 years ago, to see the first uh, model of the bicycle, the one you see in the picture, with two wheels of different size. We can see how in 1825, Stockton and Darlington combined the steam engine and the wheels to make the first locomotion. And during the last 100 years, we have seen the car uh, taking space in our roads with over one billion of cars uh, around us. The history of sailing on the water has been an instrumental in development of civilization, affording humanity greater mobility than travel over land, whether for trade, transport or warfare, included the capacity for fishing. The first representation of a ship under a sailing appears in Kuwait uh, and it represents 5,000 years before uh, Christ. Sailing boat was used by Christopher Columbus in 1492 to go to uh, discover the Americas. And since then, uh, ships have been uh, used uh, quite frequently until our days with uh, thousands of rooms into a ship, as the one on this picture. In aviation, we can find some myths. For example, one of these is Icarus. Icarus, in the Greek mythology, was the son of a, ma of a master craftsman called Daedalus. As a way to escape from the island of Crete, they make some wings with some feather attached with some wax. It was a way for Icarus to fly. But because not following the indication of his father, he flew high and high and was too close to the sun that made the wax to melt and made him to die. Another aviation myth is the Chinese official Wang Hu. One who was a minor Chinese official from the 16th century during the Ming dynasty, who attempted to become the world's first astronaut. Taking advantage of the Chinese know-how on rocket and fireworks technology, he set up 47 rockets in, uh, underneath of a chair. He used 47 servants to light the rocket. And after huge explosion, the chair was gone. During 559, the Emperor Gao Yang put into prison 
the prince of the former emperor called Yuan Huan To. Being in prison was asked to be thrown from a tower and he was attached to a kite and managed to survive. In the year 1010, the British Benedictine Aimler of Malmesbury, after reading the Greek fable of Icarus, wanted to jump from the tower of a church. Elmer fixed some wings to his hands and managed to fly 200 meters. But broke his legs. 200 years later, in 1200, Mr. Roger Bacon, English philosopher and cleric, wrote about the flying machines. And during the 17th century appears the fair Turkish aviator, Heserfen Ahmed Celebi. He managed to fly from the Galata Tower all the way to Uskudar. Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian who mastered many different disciplines. He was a painter, a sculpt sculptor, architect, musician, mathematician, engineer, inventor, anatomist, geologist, cartographer, botanist, and writer. For the history of aviation, he contributed by designing a multitude of mechanical devices, including parachutes and study the, bear, the flight of birds, as well as their structure. The brother Joseph and Jacques Montgolfier, in 1783, invented the hot air balloon. The first idea about hot air balloon came to Joseph by observing the laundry, how it was drying over a fire, and creating pockets of hot air. After many different smaller samples, they create one with these volumes, which for the first time managed to transport jacks up to 900 meters during nine kilometers around Paris. During the mid 1800s, Félix du Temple patented the first design for aerial machine. It had crewed a landing gear, which could be retracted, a propeller, and an engine. The title of the patent was Aerial locomotion by the imitation of the flight of birds. Another French inventor and engineer, Clement Tadère, in 1886 created his first flying machine. The design ran by a light steam engine designed by him and a four blade propeller. Another pioneer of aviation was the German Otto Lilienthal. He was called the Glider King, as he was the first person to make well-documented and repeated successful gliding flights. 1903 can be considered the beginning of modern aviation, and is when the Wright brothers first flight into air for 12 seconds covered a distance of 121 feet. But why is the beginning of modern aviation? Well, they cover all the phases of aviation, which is a pre-flight, takeover, departure, en route, descent, approach, and landing. And for more details, just you can watch this three minute video about the Wright brothers. Mind all of the latest. So, if we want to summarize the last 2000 years of the history of aviation, we started on the first phase with the kites around 200 before Christ. 
We continue with the gliders, as for instance, Mr. Celebi jumping from the Galata Tower to Uskudar. Then we had the balloons invented by uh, Montgolfier brothers. During the 1800s, we saw the first flying machines. And 1903 saw Wright Brothers with its flesh flight. 